Hi, I'm Sharon Rice. I'm with Philly Changer Chats with Generosity.org. And today I'm here with Alyssa Thomas from Philadelphia's Kiva Zip program. Hi, Alyssa. It's so great to have you. Hi. Thanks for having me here. I'm really excited. Awesome. Um, so tell us a little bit about Kiva Zip mm -hmm. and just what's it all about and, 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 and how did you guys end up in Philadelphia? Yeah, so Kiva Zip is a program of a larger nonprofit called Kiva.org. And so what Kiva Zip does is it crowdfunds 0% interest loans for small businesses. So all of our loans are 0% interest, no fees, and they're crowdfunded by a community of thousands of lenders from around the world. Um, so our, our program is super unique to other loan programs that may be available to small businesses in the sense that we engage in a process of what we call social underwriting. Mm. So we do character analysis of a business owner instead of financial analysis, which is what a typical loan program would do. Um, so we're assessing character of business owners by partnering with organizations throughout the city who work with them. So the Enterprise Center, um, you just had Peter Frank from Philadelphia Area Cooperative Alliance. So Peter, um, Common Ground Management, organizations like that, we partner with them. They're working with the businesses. They endorse them. They say this business owner is good. Um, if they have the potential to succeed and we want to see them through the process. So they provide that key social underwriting process for us. Mm -hmm. um, we came to Philadelphia because the deputy director um, of the city of Philadelphia, she heard about it and she brought it up to the deputy mayor, Alan Greenberger, and they said, let's do this, let's become a Kiva city. So we started here. Um, in July, I started working on the program, but we officially launched it in December. So it's super unique in Philadelphia compared to the other places where we're operating. So we're in 11 major cities, including Philadelphia. Um, other ones are like LA and DC and soon to be New York City. Mm -hmm. And we're unique here in that there's a partnership between the city of Philadelphia's Department of, Par Department of Commerce mm -hmm. and Kiva Zip. So I actually work for the city of Philadelphia. The Department of Commerce felt so strongly about bringing Kiva Zip here and developing it that they hired somebody to do that. Where in other cities there may be um, a political figure coming out and speaking in favor of Kiva Zip, but that partnership doesn't exist. Oh, that's really that's really great. Yeah. I mean, I feel like in the city of Philadelphia, partnerships is what we're all about. That's Absolutely. one of the hallmarks. So that's really unique that Kiva Zip has been able to provide that service to Philly and just mm -hmm. sort of keep that momentum going. Right. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the businesses that have been approved for uh, Akiva Zip. Yeah, so our businesses really, really range. So we see that 70% of our businesses are in their first year. 70% of our businesses are ethnic minorities or women. Um, and they definitely range industries as well. So we have fashion designers, food producers, we have candle makers. It's, it's really a wide variety. So. Um, we just yesterday funded our 37th loan, so we've finally reached that $150,000 worth of loans dispersed in Philadelphia. That's great. Um, which is super huge for us. So as a, a business that maybe is well established in Philadelphia, is there room for a business like that to get involved with supporting what Kiva Zip is doing? Um, and and, and how are, how are, how, what is a process like for someone who's looking to borrow? Yeah, so we um, pretty much encourage a wide range of businesses to apply, but specifically definitely micro enterprises, right? So really, really small businesses. Um, how long you've been in business for doesn't matter, um, but we're definitely focused on individuals whose household incomes are low to moderate. So if you're in a higher income bracket, keep a zip is probably not the best option for you. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're interested in getting a Kiva Zip loan, there's a few ways you can go about it. So the first would be to just visit borrowers.kivazip.org. Mm -hmm. So that's borrowers.kivazip.org. Um, and you could read the details of a loan there. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can reach out to me or you can visit kiva.org slash Philadelphia. There's a lot of sites. So kiva.org <laughs> slash Philadelphia. That'll have my email on mm -hmm. it. So contact me and a list of our trustees, which again are those organizations who are providing the support to, for the businesses. Great. So reach out to me. We'll try to set them up with an organization who can help them throughout the process. That's really great. 
So what do you hope for uh, now that Kiva Zip is officially in Philadelphia? You guys have officially launched here. You have a, a great number of borrowers. Uh, what are you hoping for in the next, say, five years for Kiva Zip? Yeah, so number speaking wise, our goal is to support 100 entrepreneurs per year. Um, I'm not going to put a dollar amount on that because sometimes people want $500 loans and sometimes people want $5,000 loans. So it's really more about the fact that we're impacting people's lives, mm -hmm. so number of people. Um, but what we really want to see is this ecosystem around a local community, right? So. We try to work with organizations like Generosity who have the reach to the community members to let them know that you can lend to a business in your community. You can say, I live in this neighborhood. This is the type of business I want here. I'm going to support it. I'm going to help in the economic development of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. help job creation, and I'm going to create this human connection that maybe didn't exist before. And for me, it's really powerful to think that somebody from Rittenhouse Square can lend to a small business in West Philly and maybe this person would never even go to West Philly mm -hmm. and now they've made that connection yeah. and they're eating breakfast at this restaurant and they're changing a neighborhood because they're giving commerce to it they're making it more viable so this community where lenders, borrowers, donors, all of the supporters are kind of together and mm -hmm. supporting one another that's great. Well, I'm really excited to have you guys as part of the city, and yeah, I'm so excited to have you have have had you part of this uh, process. And thank you so much for showing yeah, up. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you. Take care.